something that just kind of came to me, so I feel I want to explore it. Uh, I've seen people use mustard for barbecue rubs, um, but no, never uh, molasses. I'm going to try it, and if it's terrible, we'll just eat it. So, I'll talk about laser fire. <laughs> yeah, spry old man. Hope to be like you someday. I'm sorry. Um, so the corned beef and cabbage. I don't know if you heard that, but he just did. A, oh, uh, yes, no food for you right now. I'm sorry. Jeez. Um, corned beef and cabbage. Pastrami is going to be part one of two. Pastrami takes a long time. Um, and this, I've seen it, read a number of different approaches for it. You really want to get a good smoke on it. And then you want to take it up to an internal temperature to between 225 and 250 in a water bath. Not, not underwater, but steam. So we're going to do the first part tonight. And then you can wrap it and put it in the fridge and then pick up where you left off. Uh, so we'll do that second part Sunday. We normally stream two days a week, Wednesdays and Sundays. Ooh, here we go. Cool. Yeah, I, I was the the pepper and the coriander um, is are two traditional rubs for pepper or pastrami. It's the molasses that's different. I might go light on it just to see if there's any flavor from it. Um, I have let it sit in the fridge overnight, and we do have the big green egg. I want to start with that, but also we're going to be doing Jameson's. Well, <clears throat> we only bought this bottle for the ice cream. Irish coffee after the show. Come on by. Um, so, but I found a recipe for a favorite from a restaurant that we used to go to a lot more before COVID. Uh, it's called the Old, Old Brogue in Great Falls, Mer uh, Pencil Pennsylvania. Great Falls, Virginia. Um, and this was one of the things that popped up on their menu. It's not... I haven't tried it before, but I wanted to try it when celebrating St. Patrick's Day. And of course, we're going to have an Irish soda bread, and I found one that is a cheddar rosemary soda bread. So we're making that today, too. A uh, lot to get to. Um, the ice cream is going to be one mix, it's, and we're going to put it in the fridge and finish that Sunday. Um, so we'll see how it ends up. Thank you for joining us on, on this little adventure. And we are, oh, I should, I meant to put backseat friendly. If you've got suggestions, I am a curious cook who will, I have a chef, I was a chef back when I was uh, going into college. I worked in a restaurant for two years as an assistant, or as a late night chef, assistant chef, late night guy. So I'm not, I'm just very skilled because, modesty, wow. I'm just very skilled. I'm just awesome. Where I get it from is I love to cook and I love to eat. Uh, so I need less evidence of that. But it's something over the years, especially with our challenges on the diet, I, we have had to change how we cook and can't cook.